fuck? There we go. Well, I reckon you didn't do it, Dan. Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. I didn't do it? And what do you say? I say, yep, I know you Followed your case a little bit, you being a making boy and all. You're from making then? Yep. Came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the 70s. Always wanted to work a murder case. Like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in. So with all due respect. A real shame, that is. Hell, the whole family used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Still there? Sure is. Good. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on a six year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? Sure. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. I'm driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fellow, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're all sitting. Are available for coming to one. Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like like a fussy baby on an airplane. And I tell him he's got to stop. That's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. It wasn't. So did he do it? They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Oh, I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do say In so. In the road! This other time... <laughs>
Hey! Hey, officer! Are you all right? I'm still cuffed back here! Why the hell did he have his gun out? I need to drag myself out that window. Officer? God damn. Anybody? Anybody up there? No ladder. 
I'm not getting up there anyway. This leg the way it is. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Ah! Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. These people might need more help than I do. Neighborhood is deserted. What the hell? Ugh, cable's out. What's that beeping? Furniture overturned, blood everywhere. Jesus. Three new messages. Message one left at 5:43 p.m. <gasps> Hey, Sandra. This is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message 2. Left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. Daddy? Huh? Hello? You need to be quiet. Are you okay? I'm okay. They tried to get me, but I'm hiding until my parents come home. What's your name? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. How old are you? Eight. And you're all alone? Yes. I don't know where anybody is. How old are you? I'm, uh, 37. Okay. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window.
Man. Hi there. Did you kill it? I don't know. I think so. Sometimes they come back. Have you killed one? No, but they get shot a lot. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah. I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Let's go. Stay close to me. I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I won't leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. We need help. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... A neighbor. Her parents are out of town. Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... The monster's come out. We gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. Any of those guys neighbors too?
That's good to hear. Hey, Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mama's gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. <laughs> Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past <laughs> few days. Well, breaking down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter then? Oh, not his daughter. He was her neighbor. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah. It's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. You played this, Tucker? Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. Could be worse. That's what it sounds like. Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. Oh, uh, just the first episode? How'd this happen? Car accident. That so? Where are you headed before the car accident? Home. Uh, oh. Where's home? I grew up in Macon. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with, the girl? Nobody. Is that so? Yeah, it is. You said we. That's all. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad, so I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right, you're gonna wanna fortify his place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. <laughs> Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. Your leg gets hey, hot or the Tucker, do you think I should say you're probably dealing with, with from the from the What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards Macon, I suppose. All right, then. Oof. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It smells like... It smells like... Shit. <gasps> I'm sorry. I shouldn't talk like that. That was a swear. <laughs> that was a swear. I missed my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh. Okay. Love you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> 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 
Hey, get up. <sighs> Can he? Oh, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in no offense. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Doc? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable treat lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! But he makes <laughs> up for it with enthusiasm. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My well, family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan, then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. It's pretty much just left or right. I can keep see. an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Hey there, girls. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just. It's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we... the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Things were bad before. Bad now, but they're different, you see? People are eating each other. But they weren't before. The banks, the politics, the, the crap. Those things are gone. Hell comes in a lot of different colors. So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian <laughs> back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. God dang. What, what is it that you do, Lee? Well, I used Subtitled to teach at the University of Georgia. <laughs> we need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Uh, yeah, my mistake. We'll all be home soon. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So, <laughs> you're good? Anyway. It's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? Back in a bit. Three days, okay, damn. Lee. It's been three fucking days. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. Hey there, uh, Kenny. So what's uh, your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots, and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any no, help? No. What do you mean? I mean, in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? I think I've got it handled okay. As long as I keep her safe, I think I'm doing all right. With those things out there, maybe. Sure, that's enough. But you gotta ask yourself if you're the type of guy who can do better than that if her parents don't show up. I'll keep that in mind. How's your son doing? Good, I think. 
Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station, and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds, and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. See ya. Lee, stop hugging that tree. <laughs> you know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. farm bill, though. I'm good. How you doing, Duck? Good. I'm gonna drive the tractor. I'm, drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. You gotta do what you can to Fuck. survive. <laughs> Fucking like, a that kid's head and pulled the trigger. <laughs> Fuck that man. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Damn it. Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh... I had to shoot one. I could shoot one, maybe, if it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? My brother and parents are in Macon, I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. I'm not sure I follow. I ain't dumb. I caught you in that lie last night about who you were with in that car. And honestly, I don't even want to know. How'd you get out of Atlanta? Oh, on foot. I headed south and hoofed it out of there. That's a long walk. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, <laughs> having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Your parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon was my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Yeah, I was looking for help in her house. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. But you better become a better liar, and fast. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. So whoever you are and whatever you did, keep it to your damn self.
but at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Go! I'll get my gun! them both. Look at him. You thought wrong. And now? Please. Just go. Get out and never come back. <laughs> Should grab the death machine instead. You've got that ride to make it if you want it. This is as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. Look! Hey there! You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Fuck! You're in traps? Run! take risks like this. And we can't just let people die, either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. In a minute, Clem. They've got kids, Lily. Got kids. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. She's the leader here. But it looks like she's losing control of her people. If you were in my shoes, you'd be the... Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body, we'll dig one hole. 
No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head. Stop him! Wait, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It's... Lily, I'll handle it. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone, chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things! What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. What if this was your daughter? Never would have happened. She's not some snot-nosed toddler, okay? She's United States Air Force. Fuck you and her. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Key's behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch! She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then, there'll be three. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! No! You don't touch that boy! You don't touch anybody! I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You wanna get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here! Jesus! <laughs> 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 so lost little belt. You okay? Just great, thanks. Uh, guys? Everybody down! Stay quiet! They're gonna get in! Shut up! Is that the military? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and the Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! Uh, uh, uh. What's wrong with it? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. We'll get in there somehow. Thank you so much. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. <laughs> and I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your <laughs> name? Fuck. It's Larry. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. 
And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. You're a pretty good fuck shot. Fuck the pills. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me. And I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. <laughs> that guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kinda cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. <laughs> it's kinda creepy. <laughs> what are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. There are no batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I, I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. <laughs> I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Uh, not right now. All right, let me know if you want to. I'm gonna have to anyways. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. <laughs> Come on, game. Let me look at the pictures. I don't remember them very well. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. Well, hey, Lee. You really gave that old man hell. Yeah. We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. How's Duck doing? It's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? How should I know? Well, you'd ask her. I'm just trying to do the best I can. You are all she's got. And from the looks of it, that's a two-way street. Katja, give the guy a break. No, Ken. We don't know how long this is going to last. That girl needs someone to be there for her. And from the looks of it, Lee could use the same. Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? They, uh, own this place. They're... Uh gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but yeah, they're dead. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? It happened pretty fast. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves. Over we it. killed that boy. 
We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice that killed John. You think you do when you look back on it, but in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. <laughs> Try to let it go. The console is... This man's asking if the console... <laughs> It's not much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's, uh, really sweet. Don't mention it. How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. He's got a temper. Ah, fuck you! Yeah, he doesn't <laughs> mean it. It's just that... Yeah? We've got kids here. Families. He and I are a family. I'm just saying some people can't handle a temper like that. Hell, that he seems like you can. It's just his way. Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. <laughs> Sounds good. Mm -hmm. My fucking energy bars are there, holy shit. Not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. There it is. Better. Hey there. Hi. Hi. Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. Can I, uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. Still, huh? Yeah, it wasn't much. I know, Clem. I'll see if I can find something else for you. 
So, Sweetie, um, bitch. <laughs> are you okay? What? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh, I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I think so. Uh, being good is good, despite the circumstances. Yep. Well, sit tight. Okay. Try to get some rest. It's not much, but here, for the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. Hey, Carly. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. Damn, city girls. <laughs> Don't know how to do shit. Is okay. In the event of a full, uh, uh, my my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Steve. nothing I need in here. Luckily. The pets came in here hoping to survive. Looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. Find anything? It's a photo of a family who owned this place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? What's it to you? To me? I'm not the one with the felony record. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of. Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. How can I trust you? You can't, I suppose. But you don't have many other options. You don't have many other options. Yeah, fuck this.
What's that? This is my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. And his cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. <sighs> Things have been scary, huh? Yeah. Yeah. It's not good. I don't know why everyone is crazy. Neither do I. I don't the time. Know. Nobody does, I don't think. I bet my dad does. Okay, here we go. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. You didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? I hope not. It's just complicated, that's all. Why? It just is. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I guess let's finish moving the Fuck. desk. Huh? I'm a pretty yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Ow! Ow! Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find you a bandage. Let's find you a bandage. Let's have a look at that finger. Now. It hurt. Let's see if we can do it something hurts. about it. Or does it hurt when I do this? A little, not too much. Not you sure? Much. Yeah. Does it do it again. Do this? A little, <laughs> not too much. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Well, it's not broken. Let's have a look at that finger. How? It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Lee? Yeah? Oh what if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. It's the remote to my dad's TV. Everyone out there seem all right to you? Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. There was that thing in the bathroom. 
It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for them. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. How's your finger? It's okay. Thanks for fixing it. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. Everyone out there seem all right to you? Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. There was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get God me. Damn it. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for him. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Okay. Lee? Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? It's complicated. Sometimes things happen, or you do things and you can't explain them. Let's, uh, head back to the others. Hey there. I better get back to it. Yep. Thanks, by the way. Don't mention it. Just remember what I said. Yeah, I will. Hey there. This is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn, we're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Ba, 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 ba. Doug. How we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Okay. Jesus. No! He just eat. As far as I can tell, he's all they care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. I can't reach that brick. Man, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, uh, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time.
Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power is still on. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Well fucking done, Doc. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? That got a few of them to take notice. But not enough. Hacker <laughs> man. What the fuck? door open about that you've got the combo right no did anyone ever have it look man there were a lot of those things trying to get in here and now we can't get back out onto the street we're also party to some egregious fire code violations open sesame that won't work I was kidding it's universal, but not that universal. <laughs> I know, Doc. Let's head back inside. Okay. I don't have the X. I don't even, I don't, I don't even remember the hell you get it. I think it's from saving Glenn. You ready to head out? You got it. You? In a minute. Okay, let me know. Okay, let me know. Oh, shit. Wait a minute. Not a minute. How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way! We gotta go, now! Listen, I was out here looking for gas, and then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her, and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't, and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A couple almost got me, and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her, with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. <laughs> There's the X. Okay, this is the plan. We don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's boarded up. So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly. Noise attracts these things. Now let's have a look around.
my pillow. Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. Oh man, she, she's eating something. So we got that one right there, close. We can hide and by that RV if we're quiet and keep our heads down. Flipping though. <laughs> it's a spark thing. Spark plug. You should hold on to that. Could come in handy. That could scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. I don't know how to get rid of her. Axe, I think, right? Axe, yes, no. Right behind you. Okay. Oh. 
rad. Fox is rad. What the hell? <laughs> Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. <laughs> oh, if you no. open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. She's in trouble. <laughs> Miss, we're coming in. You might want to break through that board first. Stop! Just stop! I'm coming out. You're hurt. Oh, God. I... I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys. She's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away! I'm bit! But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die, and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? When? I don't want that. It's not Christian. Please, just leave me. Please go. Okay, we'll leave. Just try to take care of yourself for whatever time you have left. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. Give it to her. What? You can't be serious. Do it. No! Look at her, Carly. There's no happy ending to this. Okay. Fine. Thank you so much. I know how terrible this must be. We can't watch this. Let's go. We can't go yet. What? Why not? Because somebody needs to pick up the gun. Can't leave it. You two go on. Okay. You sure? Yeah. God bless you, all right? God bless you too. I got now, bitch. <laughs> Everyone all right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine and... Well, yeah. We're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. Some pills here. How you doing, Glenn? You know. Back to the motor here. How can it be that bad so fast? You know, when things are taken away, people do crazy shit. I guess, but that's not me. I'm not giving up. Not for anything. Good, man. Good. You let her do it, you know. You said give her the gun. I know I did. Why the hell would you do that? Mercy, man. I couldn't let her go on like that. We couldn't. You never know. You can't give up hope. I think it was over for her, Glenn. Do you know the combination for the lock on the gate outside? Why? Oh, you know, I thought I'd go stretch my legs. You're probably better off breaking it if you have to.
What's your next move? God damn, I don't that's know. fucking subtitle I mean, took too long. You guys seem okay. What about your family? Yeah, I... I... Forget it, man. That's your business. I hate feeling like I can't do anything. I know the feeling, man. Try to get some rest. Huh. Yeah, right. All right, Doug. Let's go doing? kill some fuck. Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Okay. Uh, I can't reach that brick. Awesome. That's not how that works. Now to distract those things carefully. I can't reach that brick. Well, no wonder. Fucking door still. <laughs> Clearly fucking grab him, zombie. <laughs> Find them yet? Give me a second. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I wasn't here. But knowing you are to take care of them, that helped. And that was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. <laughs> God damn it. Yep. Oh no. Oh, shit. We gotta hurry. <sighs> oh shit, man. Come on. 
Come on, baby, time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up round back! Do it fast. I gotta get my dad out of here. I don't plan on dilly-dallying. Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. I right, that door's not locked anymore. Shit. You three, get on it. I'll get back as fast as I can. Stay away from the windows. Hey, Dad, you just... hey, Lee. We don't make it through this. You should know that I think you're a great guy. We will make it through this. Doug, if we don't make it through this, you should know. I should know what? Huh? You said I should know. Shit! On it. Are you sure? Shit! Oh, shit! Oh. Okay, then. Clementine, can you look for something to stick in between the hands? Something real strong, okay? Okay. Clementine, did you find anything? He's kidding me. Right yeah, right. A window with screws. Go! <laughs> she knows oh, who I am. Oh man. Holy! <laughs> Let's go! They got Carly. You gotta move. These bad races. Yep. Meanwhile, inland, Atlanta has been downgraded temporarily to an eight, with attacks and rioting being reported in all precincts. Citizens are currently advised to stay in their homes and move towards the cities of Charlotte, Atlanta, and Orlando. If citizens choose to stay in their homes, they are urged to be near their radios and await further instructions. Moving to the cities of Charlotte, Atlanta, or Orlando may become necessary oh, in order to ensure the safety of all citizens. That was so awesome. Meanwhile, inland, Atlanta has been downgraded temporarily to an eight, with attacks and rioting being reported in all precincts. Citizens are currently advised to stay in their homes or move towards the cities of Charlotte, Atlanta, and Orlando. Hey, Glenn. With uncountable severe emergencies in all counties, Georgia's cities and their current level of disaster are as follows. Atlanta, stage 9 catastrophe. Augusta, stage I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there, and I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. She's so angry all the time, man. Stage 
And you gotta do what you gotta do. And I gotta do this. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. And Lee, you know, if this doesn't get better, people are going to give up. Like the girl from upstairs. Are you just gonna let them? You told Carly to give her the gun. Yeah, I did. Maybe you were right. I don't know how to handle something like that. Anyway, see you around. Shit, oh my god. Nice fucking license plate. <laughs> Shit happens. Hey, kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. You said you wanted kids once. Uh, I did, yeah. Well, she's not your daughter, so you can't treat her like she is. Yeah, I know that. But you can take care of her. Hell, maybe better than a father even could. Thanks, Kenny. I got your back, pal. Yeehaw, Chuggle Pug. <laughs> How you doing, Doc? Doc? We couldn't save her, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I... I know it's stupid. We just met. I don't know how long each episode is. I mean, it's, it's probably just that survivor thing. I really liked her. Hour? Hour? Two hours? She liked you, too. Thanks, Lee. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? Depends on what is how long I stick to the How did you choose? I mean, we both needed you. You picked me. I was going to help you both. That makes sense, I guess. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. I just wish you would have picked her. God damn it, she says that to him. Oh, him. <laughs> Room has four seasons. Uh... Oh man, check this out. The Jumatron had this minigun on his shoulder. It's all like pow, pow, pow. I thought Super Dinosaur was toast. But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then. Hey, Duck, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. Uh, episode of stream, I guess. I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, Am I doing it's not that. The it's second episode. I got grabbed again. It's like an hour. <laughs> I was there. Pretty much an hour. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. Why we do two episodes of show? I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad, and now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Hmm. Let me go deal with this. Oh man, Clementine, another thing. <laughs> my fucking Christ, what do you Doug. want? You like my daughter? She's fine. Fine, huh? Well, just fuck you, Lee Everett. That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. And you go near my daughter or step out of line once, and so will everyone else. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. <laughs> Duck does need a muzzle. Hey, <laughs> Lee, do you have a second? Oh, God, she's a prick too. My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That reporter is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. The fuck's that was music change? We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. 
We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. They're worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Acute power outage. <laughs> right on time. The fuck was those that stands at the end? I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? Keep it. Hey, I owe you a lot more than a half-eaten candy bar. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. Oh, shit. I never did fishy. thank you for saving Duck from the walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. You fucked with us! Now we're gonna take the we on! There's too many of them! You never liked my dad. Even back at the drugstore, when everyone thought Kenny's kid was fit, you went out of your way to side against him. This isn't happening. No more, please! No more, please! Please, please. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Sean, oh my, thirty percent. What the fuck? Defendant Kenny. Well, while this round's going to be his bathroom. I'm back. <laughs> Fuck it. Main menu. Yeah, we already did this. We got the achievement beating it, so whatever. Play. Episode 2. Let's do episode 2 and I'll be it. I know who you are. I got another good one for you. been all by yourself through this yeah i want my parents to come home now and you you keep an eye on that front door you're our lookout it's doug you got it and i'm carly okay carly you'll shift in with doug you got it boss <laughs> that brain's oh, oh, shit. <laughs> bitch. one of them is bitten we reason with him Bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Four seasons already. Play the third one. Two. I'm just gonna. Oh, 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 and I don't give a shit about what happens to you, but if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass.
What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Well, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. We're all starving. Last night I heard your friend Doug laying in bed just naming types of pie. It was driving me nuts. I think he's starting to lose it. He's not the only one. Won't you cut him some slack? Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. We'll manage. Maybe. You know, some people aren't too happy about the way Lily's handling rations. Lily knows it's important to keep the adults fed and functioning. Sometimes that means someone's gotta miss a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. He's got a wife and son to look out for. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. Larry's just... Looking out for his daughter. Hey, I know Lily. She can take care of herself. He needs to take that energy and put it towards finding us some more food. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face <laughs> one time? Uh, knock me flat. Don't. Gunshot will bring walkers. One bird's not worth it. <sighs> yeah, I know. I'm just really frickin' hungry. Shit! Was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on! Kenny, no! Oh. Jesus Christ. Oh shit, no, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher, we'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off, get it off, God damn it! Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? What the hell happened? Mr. Parker said we should stay off the streets. We were trying to be careful, but... This is fucked up. We've gotta help him. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. Please. We gotta get him out of there. Oh, God, thank you. Fine, but you gotta hurry. Hurry, please, hurry. Lee, oh. 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 this trap's been altered. There's no release latch. Oh no. Shit! Walkers! It's now or never leave! Please! Get me out of this! Mark, get the boys back! Kenny, keep those walkers off of me! Oh god, oh god, oh god! Please! Lee, do something! Oh god! Murder! No, no, no! Try the trap again! And Try to get the cheese! Let's go, let's go! Burn it. it has to be now! Oh god! Shit! 
is he? He passed out. <laughs> no, there wasn't a lot of it, I think. If he's alive, grab him and let's go. I don't think those are going to run. Because you can't break the chain, and they said there was no release flash. Those Behind you! <laughs> Travis! Oh, no. Come on, come on, we gotta move! It's a big leg. It's a he coughs like the freaking shin, I guess. It shouldn't have been. <laughs> so maybe. <laughs> Rip that guy. Rip the whole series, man. Rip the whole season. All four seasons. <laughs> Get the gates open! Get We've got wounded! We've Shit! Got wounded. What the hell are they doing? Come on! Come oh on! My God! What happened? Oh, the hell are these? Don't have time to explain. Please, Shit! Are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat! Okay? Can you fix him? Jesus, Ken! I, I don't know. Me! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? No, I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. I thought we could save his life. I'm the one that took his leg. That makes me responsible. Well, that was a stupid thing to do. We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group right here, right now. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine. You guys fight it out that night. <sighs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. But, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You, know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Most people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens no, next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence, but sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? You think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food. Nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. <laughs> Damn. <laughs>
I don't know if I was six to ten, but damn. <laughs> Fuck's Kenny. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. <sighs> Here, Larry. I hope you don't think this makes us friends. I could have gave you nothing. <sighs> oh, man. Just seeing the food is driving me crazy. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. <laughs> here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? Come Bitch, on, just give you food. <laughs> Cut Lee some slack. He knows you're just out to protect Lily. He told me so. Just like he's trying to protect Clementine. He... Oh, I just need some food. Going this long without a proper meal make anybody cry. Bitch. <laughs> you fucking pig. <laughs> mm. God damn it. Hate the camera angle. Want something to eat? Here, Kenny. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Uh, no. Come talk to me once my boy's taken care of. Hey, Doc. How about a little food? <laughs> it's fucking not... <laughs> Here. It's fucking Yeah! Oh man, I'm so hungry! <laughs> oh god, no. <laughs> His fucking face Here, though. Clem, you need something to eat. <laughs> okay. A Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. His fucking face, though. Oh, uh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. <sighs> Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. Look, you've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those... Monsters. And you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. You and Clem are welcome to come with us. The coast does sound like a smart idea. Maybe that is the best thing. I know that it is. I'm taking my family. It's fucking face though. <laughs> he got super hyped. Here. I don't want anything from you. Take it anyway. You need to eat. This doesn't change anything. Please. Well, that's it. Not such an easy job, is it? I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Lee. Kenny, I know I ran out of food before. Hey, it was a tough choice. But you took care of the kids. That's what a real man does. 
I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Well, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. Ken! Lee! Come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Kaja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried. But he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? Where's the X right off the bat? <laughs> no problem. We gotta watch each other's backs, right? Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! We actually what? surprised at that concussion. Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. We're all infected? Everyone? I... I guess so. I don't know, I... All I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym, and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning, and... God. Doug, it works. Of course it works. I told you. Shit, where'd this string come from? Watch where you're walking, man. Who are those people? I don't know. Are they the people that raided your camp? I don't think so. But they all had their faces covered, so I don't know. There's just two of them. We need to make a stand. No. We have a routine. We don't confront them if we don't have to. You all right? Yeah, just getting untangled. I don't know how you're still alive, man. Sorry, Lily. We gotta do this. That's far enough! Oh, shit! Uh, okay, okay. Uh, no problem. Are you armed? Yeah. Uh, for protection. Dead could be anywhere. But, uh, I think you got the upper hand here. What do you need gas for? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If, if y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'll go too. Improve the numbers in case we run into anything dead. So, uh... What are y'all thinking? You've got a deal. God damn we'll it. bring <laughs> some gas to your dairy. In exchange, I, I, I told us you give us some food to bring back. Game's see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. 
A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. Thanks for coming along, Doug. Sure. I'd like to get a look at that electric fence they talked about. It might give me some ideas for something I can rig up at the motor end. Can an electric fence really stop walkers? Well, as long as the walkers aren't completely dehydrated and the fence has enough juice, yeah, it seems plausible. The electricity basically cooks you from the inside out, right? I guess so. So, if a walker stays in contact with the fence, it'll eventually cook its brain. It probably takes a while, though. And that can't be a good smell. Unless it smells like jerky. Man, I could go for some jerky. What's that you got there? Oh, nothing. It's just a laser pointer I picked up during our last trip to the drugstore. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in as that motor in. Uh, who's running things over there? Lily. Runs a pretty tight ship. Her and her dad are ex-military. Yeah, she knows her shit, but she needs to know when to back off sometimes. How many people you got over there anyway? Enough to defend ourselves. Well, that's good. It's getting dangerous out there. Well, you guys know. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... Getting... You think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Carrie are always pulling this shit. It's who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? Shh. Fuck you! Fucking you knew we were hungry, and are. you guys were keeping it off for yourself! What should we do? Yeah, you know what? We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens, but let's just wait this out. I hope they move on. <laughs> Fuck you! Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Generic AI in most video games. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Here it is, St. John Family Dairy. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. Oh, wow. You guys must know a thing or two about running wire. Had a guy who did, yeah. This is a really brilliant setup. Suits us just fine. Oh, wow, you've got enough electricity to run the whole place. It's worth protecting, hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Hold on, I, I thought you said someone else was running things. Oh, yeah, uh, I thought she was asking about survival tactics. Well, it don't matter. You're here now. We'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Does that offer apply to the rest of us? We're starved. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Holy moly! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Can't get stuff like that anymore. 
Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What's she... We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here. Get that. Come help me out in the kitchen. Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip back here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. No problem. Ben can come with me. Take this. All right. See you later. Zombie kill. Come on, uh, Lee. Why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? They're offering us food. We should do whatever we can to make these people like us. The way Brenda was talking, I get the feeling like she'd be happy to have us stay. All the more reason for us not to fuck this up. If Andy needs some help securing the perimeter, then that's what we do. Oh, uh... Zombie kill. I haven't watched past season one of the fucking <laughs> TV show. Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing <laughs> even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. Mind if I... Sure, that'd be great. Mama... Looks like it just needs a seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. So what's your read on Andy so far? Think they'd be really they are. to stay? <laughs> Getting the perimeter secured is going to help us a lot. We'll be getting in good and making this place safer for us. I'm going to get back to it. Hey, uh, what are you fixing to do around the barn? Just trying to find more ways to help out. Well, I appreciate that. Tell you what, we'll find you over there after we get back from securing the perimeter. Sounds good. Kind of sus, man. <laughs> Could be useful if I can find some boards to cut. Mind well, if I look, use one boards. of these boards? Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah, go right ahead. There. Generator. <laughs> you guys come along with gas just in time. Hey, uh, don't mess with that, okay? The thing's a little tricky, and I don't want to spend half a day trying to fix it again. <laughs> Are you gonna say that about everyone, Tucker? Everyone sitting around me? Hey, where the fuck am I gonna get rope though? I need a rope. Wait. Wonder how much in there. Hopefully we'll find out. 
Oui. Oh god. <laughs> Come on, Tucker. This rope is perfect for the swing. Yeah, well, well, we'll find out later in this episode. All right. This shouldn't be too tough. I'll be damned. Mama's got thrilled to see that old swing all fixed up. Hopefully our kids will like it too. Did you say something, darling? Oh my goodness. Did you do that? Just trying to help out a bit around here. You know, I used to push Andy and his brother out here on that swing every night when they were kids. Seems like a long time ago now. Yeah, it does. All right, Andy. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the hotel that you folks are pretty well armed. God damn it, you guys have been stockpiling, huh? Yeah, if anyone tries to fuck with us, they'll regret it. Well, and your people is important, but in my experience, guns around is when people get dangerous. We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on. The people they lost. Mark and I have you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it gets overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. <laughs> well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. It's easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. Gotta go sue your network company. <laughs> Get that good one. Do you think we're doing St. John's to like us? Well, we don't want to seem over-anxious. Showing them we can handle this long way. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. He wouldn't be such a pain in the ass if yeah. we were talking behind his back all the time. I... I'm, I'm sorry. I... I try to be at least. He's too busy being cranky to notice. There's one. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Disgusting. Hey, Danny said when this fence is working, the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. If those lights are out, that means the fence is off, right? It better be. <laughs> That's no good whatsoever. Oh. Come on, I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? Can you imagine Duck running into that shit? <laughs> yeah, well, it's useless without gas. We might need food, but the St. John's need gas, too. Not many drivers these days, Lee. We could change up a year's worth of gas, easy. So what's your... They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. These folks are just delaying the inevitable. This place is gonna fall apart, just like everywhere else. <sighs> Maybe you're right. There's another one. <laughs> I see it. I see it. 
never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Hunt. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Would have been nice to get some of those rations. I get hungry too, you know. We'll go ask for more to eat after this is done. All right, I can suck it up. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> <laughs> Crispy cream. Little help here, Lee. Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. What the? Get to the gate. Get down. You asshole. Jesus. We had no reason. Now you fuck. Who the fuck is that? No idea. Fuck. Now what? With the fence on, that gate is our only way out. You didn't deliver the good. Now we're gonna take one home. No fuel. Of course. Get out here and face me like a man. Give us the food. Problem solved. Come on. If we can reach the gate, we can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah! They're on the Shit, road. that hurts. You really think you're fucking us? Over there! You fuck with us! Now we'll take what we want! Can't lose me the open. She is out forever! What happened? Shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. We're gonna have to move. Another one? How many of those things did we push down? Who? Ah. Here. You lucky sons of bitches! Go ahead and run! We ain't going nowhere! Lee, what's wrong? Uh, the electric fence came on. Some people started attacking from the woods, and we got trapped between them and the fence. Holy shit, are, are you okay? I heard Mark yelling. Thought y'all were giving me the all clear. Man, I am real sorry. Oh uh, my lord, what happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama. Yeah, I'll be all right once it's out, but god damn it hurts. Hey, y'all. Mark, oh my god, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just... Pull it out. Oh no, honey. Come on. Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. 
Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhands. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. What you do about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it! Doug said this place was safe. Maybe it isn't as safe here as we thought. Look, we're sorry. We, we never had them screw with us like this. Not since we started giving them food. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? <laughs> They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Whoa, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Doug? Since Doug ate half the biscuits on the way to get us, I had them stay back. I still don't think we should be trying to stay here, and someone's got to watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, kids, look what Lee got working for you. A swing. I love swings, just like at my treehouse. Come on, Doc. Thanks, Lee. You're the best. Yeah. Storing gasoline all over the property. All right, you too, Tucker. Lee, oh my god, I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you think Mark will be okay? Wish I knew, but I think he's in good hands now. Yeah? It's not too bad? He'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. How could you all bring us to this place? I take it you and Kenny didn't exactly make up on the way here. I tried seeing things from his point of view, having a wife and kid and everything. But gambling with your family's life is pretty stupid, if you ask me. Hey, thanks for backing me up this morning at the motel. I know I came down on you guys pretty hard, but you do agree with the way I'm running things, right? You're a good leader, Lover. Kenny's too emotional, but his intentions are in the right place. Still, it'd be best for all of us if you two could try to work together once in a while. Having a crop like that on hand must be great. We're gonna need to learn how to maintain it if we end up staying here. If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in ships. If there's not enough room in the house for all God of us, okay. I guess a few of us could camp out here in ships. Lots of hay. Yeah, enough of these might work as adequate cover for arrows, if that becomes a problem.
Hey, Clem, do you like the swing? Yeah, it's fun. Thanks for fixing it. You're welcome. Will you push me on it? Sure. Happy to push you on the swing. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? All right, Duck. Let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. What do you think of the dairy? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, it does. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? I'm not sure, Clint. I hope so. I hope so, too. How are you holding up, Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just a little worried about Mark. Is Mark going to be okay? You got lucky out there. Could have been a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? Well, we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky, too. Ever since I met you, I've had good luck, so don't worry. Okay. Don't worry. We're safe here now. As long as the bad people don't get me, too, right? I won't let what happened to Mark happen to you. Promise? I promise. All right, Clem. That's enough for now. Okay. Thanks for pushing me. Of course. It's all yours. Yeah! Okay, Duck, don't pop a gasket. I've got some things to take care of. I'll be back in a bit. Okay. Man, how's it go all the way around? God damn. Hey. Hey, Lee. How's it going with the St. John's? They seem like good people. If we do this right, I still think it could work out for us here. Yeah, this place sure is a step up from that shithole motor in. How you holding up? I hope they feed us, Lee. Soon. On the way over here, I was getting dizzy. Hands shaking, cold sweats. Thought I was gonna pass out. They've got food here. Yeah, but I'm not just talking about one meal, you know? I guess, uh, Lily isn't too thrilled about being here. I could give two shits about what Lily wants. Duck and Katja need food, and I'm not about to sit around that motor inn and watch them go hungry. You're with me on this, right? Yeah, of course. Lily's judgment is clouded, but you got a pretty clear head about these things. Did Duck and Katja get here okay? Well, it wasn't easy. Duck didn't look so good on the walk over to this place. Well, if everything works out, maybe he and Katja can have an easier life here. I hope you're right. Duck and Clementine deserve a better life than starving to death at some crappy motel. I'm gonna go have a look around. Don't wait too long to help scope out that bandit camp. Sounds like they're pretty amped up about it. This might be a good way to earn their trust. Good idea. Good idea, friend. How you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No shit. You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So, are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Yeah, we gotta hey, work together yeah. on this. Those bandits are a danger to everybody. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. What the fuck? Are you going now? Yeah, I'll be back soon, Clementine. Please be lucky. I will. See anything? Not yet. I know it's around here. It's gotta be close.
here. Oh shit, you found it? See anybody? Stay on your guard. Watch my back, Lee. I'm gonna check out the tent. Too small. It can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. Tent looks pretty new. Anybody inside? Two sleeping bags. One of them's kid sized. Looks like they expected to be here a while. Empty. Hmm. Looks like they were moving a lot of stuff. What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? Not unless you need a bunch of empty cans. <laughs> I'll pass. What the hell is this box? What the fuck? Nothing. Oh. Boxes from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. What do you find? A video camera. Let me see that. Battery's dead, though. Oh, good. What else they got over here? Let's see if we can find anything useful and then get a move on. I see you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily, right. You did say she was running things for you. Sounds like you picked a good leader. Your guns down. I ain't going back. You tell him Jolene ain't going back. Hey, we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. You don't know me. Steal my shit. Steal everything from me. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Look. It's not safe up here in the woods. 
You gotta come back to the dairy. <laughs> oh, it's a hell of a lot safer up here than down there, you best believe. Now, maybe you didn't hear me last time. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down. You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice sharp arrow right through your eyeball. And into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. You shot Mark, you psycho bitch. Who the fuck is Mark? I don't know any Mark. You shot him at the dairy. Fuck I did. That's them other people. These good buddies with your boyfriend here. I guess you met them. Ain't they nice? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. Yeah, right through. String them up on that tree. Then I'm gonna head down to that farm and shoot every goddamn person I see. Look, there's two of us and one of you. No matter what happens, one of us is gonna kill you. Like you could kill me. They couldn't kill me. They tried. Killing everywhere. Take all the dead folks you want. We'll make more. Go on. Tell him, boy. Tell him what you got in mind. Oh. Damn, son. God damn it! You straight up murdered that woman. Hardly. She had a crossbow pointed at my forehead. It's a clean shot, though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. Still, what a waste. So, that's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. They'll get the message? Yeehaw. Come on. Man, that was a hell of a ride, huh? Jesus, Danny. What? You ain't getting soft on them, are you? Not after what they did to your friend. You're back! What happened? Handled it, Mama. This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry? My husband. Miss him every day. Then screw it up for everybody then, why don't you? Oh, calm down, Princess. I'll do it myself. What's going on with them? Don't know. Squabbling looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? They have different ideas about how we should run our group. If they don't find any common ground, this whole thing's gonna fall apart. No, it's just tough times. Everyone's hungry and people get a little stir crazy when their tummy's empty. And Lee, don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. I think I'll go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. And thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. That woman is a lifesaver. Yeehaw, Chucklefoot. Hey, 
Hey, so what happened at the camp? Did you guys find any more of those guys that hurt Mark? We found a woman in the woods. She was talking all crazy and had a crossbow. So Danny killed her. Holy shit. Was she one of those bandits? I don't know. I think she was trying to tell me something. But then he just went off. I don't like this, Lee. I still say we should go back to the motor inn where we at least know what to expect. Hey, uh, can I talk to you in private for a second? Okay. It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. Okay. Does he treat you like that too? Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes. I know that. But he's not a bad guy. He just... He's got a lot of pain. He's been through so much. And lost... Pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself. And me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably gonna keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. And don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad. And I love him. What were you and Kenny arguing about when I came back from the camp? He's losing it, Lee. He comes over and starts talking about searching the barn and that these people are hiding something. But you told him to mind his own goddamn business, right? We are guests here and we don't need to be overstaying our welcome more than we already are. The way I see it, we just need to skip the dinner and get our food to go. But I'm starting to think your friend over there has another agenda. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Yeah, and we don't need you poking your nose where it don't belong and getting us thrown out in our asses. It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. It's okay. Go ahead. Whoa. Katya says Mabel could have a baby tonight. We'll see, Clementine. What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. Did you lick it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Just stay close to your mom for now. Okay. Empty. like a bunch of old dirty clothes. Ooh, smells pretty foul. It 
it a feeding trough. Just some fence posts. You found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff. Something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. Look, that guy with Katya, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor. What'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. Hey, Lee. You know how to pick a lock, right? No. Why would you say that? Well, you're... you know... urban? Oh, you are not saying what I think you're saying. Jesus, man, I'm in Florida. <laughs> Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Hmm. Does your urban? <laughs> what? See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. Sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? <sighs> Kenny thought he heard a noise. He's a little jumpy, huh? Well, we're all sure glad his wife is here. She's a lifesaver. You got no idea. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. <laughs> so, how does a woman like yourself run this whole place? I manage just fine. Plus, I have my boys to help out. I couldn't do it without them. <sighs> Crazy old man. Moving fast. There, that should do it. Fucking Danny, where do you find this piece of shit? Oh, fucking thing through a belt. Damn it, all. Ah, oh, son of a fuck. <laughs> Sabotage, Mitch. There 
there's a baby in there? Careful, don't spook her. Hey, Clementine. The hell? <laughs> My hat! You found it! I knew you'd find it! You said you would! Listen, did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motor who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee, do you think you'll ever have kids? What? I don't know. I haven't thought about having kids in a long time. Well, thanks for finding my hat. You're welcome, Clem. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. Moo. I picked up something I think could help with the lock. Nothing to stop you now. Mom, Dad, dinner time! It's dinner time! Okay, honey, let's get that. Dad! Dad! Come on! Let's eat! Kenny, come along, honey. Kenny, come on. Don't make the children wait. I'll make an excuse for you. Get that thing off. Dinner time. Look, I just came in and found the door open like that. Probably my idea, brother. Uh, hey, was anyone with you just now? No. Not the doc? No, she went in the house. Oh, good. Uh, yeah, good. You are an angel. Excuse a mess. We had to block the back door after a walker got upstairs. Don't worry. That was a while ago, and ain't been back inside since. Everybody sit down. I'll go get the meal. Oh, this is a delight. I could eat a horse. Where's Mark? Now, don't you worry about him. I've already brought some food up. You just let him rest. Mind if I wash my hands first? Bathroom's right outside in the hall. And be sure to get under your nails. You've been mucking around in the dirt all day. Been mucking around in the dirt all day. Walkers aren't getting through that thing. First aid recently. Ugh, what is this stuff? 
Looks like a bunch of medical waste in here. IV tubes, saline. What would dairy farmers need with this kind of stuff? Huh, where is that cord going? God damn it. God damn it. Uh. Lee, Jesus, man. Did you find something? Oh, sit your ass down, Lee. This lady has made you a meal. Yeah, Lee. What's gotten into you? <coughs> he just had a start. He could use some goddamn manners. You're eating human meat. That's crazy. What the hell? Okay. Oh, scaring the kids, Lee. Lee, what the hell is wrong with you? Don't indulge him, Lily. It's always something with this guy. Mom, I was eating that. Go upstairs and look. You'll find a guy with both of his legs hacked off. This is a dairy, not a ranch. Think about it. It's true. Everything could have turned out okay for you folks. He would have died anyway. We gotta think about living. Settle down, honey. Growing up in rural Georgia, Fuck you're kill. taught not to waste. It's how I was raised and how I raised my boss. Now, you got monsters roaming around that do nothing but eat people. And for what? To continue to rot till they eat some more. We think we can put that meat to better. They're all sick. Sick in the head. <laughs> we go after f We're gonna die anyways. One way or another. Like y'all. Kenny, get your gun! Kenny, no! Nobody's going, Nobody's going anywhere. We got lots of use for y'all right here. What the fuck? The fucking black Put your fuck. guns down! We're walking out Welcome of here! here my Mommy, family. I don't want to die. Mommy, what did I eat? Everyone, everything will be okay. I'll kill you! Come on, Dad. Now's not the time. 
Is there a way out? Yeah! Through this fucking door! They so much as touch my family, I'll kill those sons of bitches! They locked us in here. I think it's a meat locker. Those psychos have caught you in the dark! Open oh, up! You sons of bitches! Dad! Please stop! This goddamn film sucker was the one who brought us here! Will you all just shut the fuck up? I'm scared. Don't be. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna find us a way out of here. You're worse than the walker, Dad, please! Come on, Larry. Do you really want to attract their attention? Yeah, I want to attract their attention. So I can fucking kill them! Guess your new girlfriend wasn't all she was cracked up to be. What the hell is your problem? You were a prick back at the motor lodge, and you went out of your way to be an asshole to me, Dennis. You must really hate me. But guess what? You're stuck with me. I plan to be around long after you're gone. And if you turn, I'll be the one to put the axe through your skull. Dad! No. Dad! You're not worth the energy to hate. Don't forget, I know who you really are. Please settle down! Well, I'll rip your goddamn heads up and make you swallow them! They got caught you in duck, Lee! Those fuckers have my family! I know! We're gonna get out of here and find them! Come on! Show yourself! Our cowards! Dad! Don't give up. We're gonna find a way out of here. Can I help? Sure, honey. You keep your eyes open for exposed screws or loose panels. Anything we can pry away to open a passage out of here. Okay. There's more of us on the way. Let us out. Your dad's not making things any easier for us. Open the fucking Dad, door! Dad, stop! Dad, God stop. damn it! God damn it! Not gonna open the door! You, you think a fucking hmm. apocalypse gives you the right... I'll, I'll break that damn door down! Dad, you can't get... Uh, 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 easy! Uh, still save him. I wish she could. Believe me, I do. But that man is dead. You both know what happens next. Look, Kenny, back at the drugstore when we all thought Duck was bitten. I gave him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe we should do the same now. That was different. Duck wasn't bitten. But come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it. Remember what Ben said. We gotta destroy the brain. Come on, Lee. You can't be in the middle on this one. You gotta have my back this time. God damn it, Lee! I need you! Please help me! Please help me! Come on, Dad. Come on. Lee! Is he breathing at all? No. No, I don't think so. Okay, let me take over. Keep checking his pulse. Are you stupid? He's gonna turn! What? You're putting all of us at risk, you Free. son of a bitch! You're fucking worthless, Lee. Fuck! Fucking fuck? slaughtered. I'm so sorry. I just. It had to be done. You don't know that! Yes, I do, Lee. And so do you. I was counting on you, man. I'm sorry. I know. Don't you fucking touch me! Are you okay? Is it over? I don't know. One of the brothers could come back any second. We need to find a way out of here. Shh. I know. I know. But you gotta be strong right now. I need you to be strong. Think about something else. Something hopeful. Like what? 
Someplace safe where no monsters can get you. We're gonna get out, right? You found a way out? I'm working on it. He was still lively. He was still alive. I'm sorry, Lily. I truly am. Larry and me, we might not have got along so great, but I know he would have done anything to protect you. He was a good father. <laughs> There ought to be an air duct behind this unit. Maybe big enough for one of us to fit through. Does the air conditioner come off? I think I could take it off if I had something to remove the screws. The multi-tool. Of course they took it. Shit. Maybe there's something else we could use. I've got a rock. Ah, a rock won't help. But a coin might do the trick. Do you have a coin? Uh-uh. Please. I need to be alone. God knows you deserve time to grieve, Lily. But if we're gonna get out of here, we need your help. And Larry's. I think I may have found a way out of here. But I need something to remove the screws on the air conditioner. If you had something I could use as a screwdriver, a coin or something... No. What about him? Look, I know this is a terrible time for it. Back at the motor inn. Larry... Larry mentioned something about keeping coins in his pockets. What do you want? My blessing to loot his corpse? Your permission. <sighs> do what you have to do. <laughs> Time to loot! <laughs> Fucking oh, chaotic. Boy. Uh, any idea which pocket he keeps his change in? Don't worry, I'm not taking it. Here we go. Two quarters and a dime. Oh, right. Just gotta remove these screws and get this unit off. Fuck up, Lee. We don't have all day here. Well, there's our way out, Lee. Clementine can fit through. Looks like it'll probably lead right into that back room. I know you're brave enough. I'm scared. Remember the treehouse? You held out for days. And I saved your life. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <sighs> okay. You're gonna be fine. What do I do when I get out? See if you can get to the other side of that door and open it. I know. 
We gotta go. I just need a minute to say goodbye. We're a family of cannibals. Hey, we're good. Okay? Yeah, this is good. Shit, he's gonna get us all killed. He's gonna get us all killed. Stay here. Take care of Lily, okay? I will. Find a weapon to kill these fucks in. I told you there was something up with this room. <coughs> God damn Shit. human slaughterhouse. Weapons, weapons, weapons. Mm. What's this? Organs. Ugh. I think I'm gonna be sick. Ah, uh, this is sick. What the hell do you think you're doing? Get my family back. What are you gonna do? Walk up and grab his gun? Good a plan as any. God fucking this. Outside the barn. Oh shit! Just guarding the place, like you said. Man, we're just sitting out in the rain like a damn weird. Mama says we can't keep that many folks alive and not expect trouble. Take one to keep and kill one. What's he doing out there? I don't know. Not the kid. How keep an eye on it? Be ready to act when I say. See what he's doing now. Oh, I know, Mabel. This is Take my a favorite with the part cracks. too. When I let one think they can just walk right out, <laughs> they never even look down. Let's see where he is now. Hey, keep your eye on him. Oh. Fuck. Understand now, don't you? You can have me. It's how the world works now. Give part of yourself so others can live. I should fucking kill you right now. Cannibalism is not the answer. Aren't the walkers eating enough of us? You gotta keep me alive. If you kill me, the meat gets tainted. You can't eat it. You're already tainted. You ain't gonna kill me. Just like he didn't kill Jolene. You don't have what it takes. <laughs> Fucking coward. This is not how the world works now. You won't make me kill you. 
<laughs> Go. I'll cover you. Just stay here and keep Clementine safe. I'll be right back. Yeehaw, truck fox. Attention. We heard screams from the barn. What's going on? <laughs> These people are fucking crazy. I knew it. I told you we couldn't trust them. Where is everybody? What can we do to help? Larry's dead. They chopped off Mark's legs and tried to feed them to us. Jesus. They've still got Duck and Katja in the house. And I don't know where the fuck Kenny is. All right, we're coming in to help. No. If we storm the house, we'll cause a panic. You two try to find a way around to the back. I'll head to the front. You got it. Come on, this way. Wait, are you sure? Yes. No. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna take the boy and check around. Oh, please don't take my boy. Let's go, woman. Stand around. I don't want to hurt y'all. Andy? Danny, is that you? What's going on out there? Yeah, it's me.
fucked up. Motherfucker, how the fuck wants to do this? I don't know this. to do with her. <laughs> you just had to go snooping around, didn't you? Let her go, Brenda. Is there like hints I put on right now? Uh, settings. God oh, damn it. Hate that. It's so fidgety. Uh. Ah, <sighs> nope. No hints. Please, please don't you take another step. Brent, come on now. You know you don't want to do this. Just go away and leave us be. Go 
so fucking confused with the hell to do. Fucking move, what the hell? <laughs> Whatever. Fucking damn it, I hate this part. I mean, I'm just gonna look this thing up. Oh. Okay. Think 
about what you do. It doesn't have to end like this. I'll kill her, Lee. Just let me go. Brenda. any worse. You got me. 
<laughs> you ain't shit! It's over! Fuck you! As soon as Dana Bubba get out here! You was... You all fucked! <laughs> They're both dead. What did you do? What the fuck did you do? Don't you dare walk away from me, Lee! Get back here and finish this, Lee! Here and fight me like a man, Lee. Lee! They're getting in. You will get fucked. You're going to get fucked. Let's go. Like a dairy farmer. Hey Lee, I'm sorry for motoring under ten. I never thought a laser pointer would be the thing that saved our lives. I'm glad you showed up when you did. Well, we gotta stick together. Were they really chopping up people? For food? Yeah, and Clementine ate some. Oh, it's my fault. I panicked and didn't stop her. Oh. Were you guys able to salvage anything good from the dairy? Not really. St. John's took everything I had before the place got completely overrun with walkers. Oh, I was able to grab a couple of your things back while uh, Brenda wasn't looking. It doesn't work. You have any use for it, Doug? It's just a basic camcorder. The save lot's cheapy. Let me check it out, see if I can get it working. <clears throat> How are you doing? I'll be fine. I'm just not as young as I used to be. Hon, go on ahead and give me and Lee a second. There's gonna be fallout. For killing Lily's dad? Yeah, I would imagine so. What do you think? You murdered Larry. Fuck you, man. You're alive because of me. Why didn't you have my back? I saved your wife and kid. No, I saved them by making sure Larry didn't kill us. I couldn't do it, Ken. Well... Maybe we should stay out of each other's way for a while. Come on, Clementine. Stay close. Lee, are those bad people dead? We didn't kill them, so I don't know. They might have been able to get away from the walkers. But I'm sure they won't be coming after us. That's good. Hey, Dad. What's that noise? Sounds like a car. Oh god, not more strangers. A car? In this day and age? There ain't no shit as cars, man. Hello? Well, there ain't 
no one here, Chief. No one but me and my coins from Larry. Figures. Oh, crap. Baby, you gotta see this. It's a shitload of food and supplies back here. This food could save all of us. Not all of us. <sighs> Look, we don't know if these people are dead. If they come back, then we're just monsters who came out of the woods and ruined their lives. This stuff isn't ours. Dad, whose car is it? Don't worry about that, Duck. It's ours now. It's abandoned, Ducky. Don't worry. What if it's not? Well, what if it's not abandoned? What if it is someone's? Sorry, Clem. We have to take this, Clementine. We need it to survive. I'm sorry, sweetheart, but it's not about right and wrong anymore. It's about survival. It's locked. No shit, I already tried that. But I heard you take the keys from up front. Did I? <laughs> you can I just reach in, you pieces More of More food in here. Supplies? I'll take it. Great. Maybe we'll survive this after all. Duck, why don't you carry this? Okay. Got a box of food here. Who? I'll who? carry it. This hoodie looks to be about your size. Why don't you hold on to this? It might get cold. It's not mine. Well, think of it like you're holding on to it. You can give it back if we ever meet up with him, okay? Okay. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I just realized what this is going to do. Clean her on. Want some uh, batteries? Hey, let's Hey, Lee. You know that camcorder? I got it working. You might want to see this. Bandits ain't no food, just me and my wolf. This place is done. It's time to move on. It's time to move on. Screw it. Not like you ever listen to a damned word I say. Is this all you got? I told you this town is tapped. Do you have any idea what we had to do to get all that? We need to leave. Duck was asking about the farm last night. Not much phases, but it's starting to add up. I need to get to the coast. Get him out of all this madness. Lily's not doing so good, huh? You murdered her dad. I did what I had to, and you know it. 
Maybe people out there got things lined up better. Better than us, at least. Could be folks who have all this shit figured out. Do people get mad when they're scared? Sometimes, yeah, they do. You're so full of bullshit! I'm the one keeping this group going! We can sort all this out, alright? We can sort this out! I'll tell you what we need to sort out. We can't let one person fuck this up for everyone else! Oh, yeah! I had Carly last time and she ended up killing her. Um, Lily kill ended up killing Carly? Who helped Lily? Wow, 50 50 straight up on Larry. Uh. Oh, okay. Damn, yo. Damn, 43 of us helped the guy. The rest of y'all, like, say fuck him. We're going to leave him to die. <laughs> hey, I'm going to call it here.